All right, ladies and gentlemen. So today we're going to be talking about B2 Gold Incorporated. The ticker for this company is BTG. Um, so it's a gold mining company. Uh, the idea is it's going to be low cost um, and it's international. Um, it is one of the, as far as we're concerned, starting to be a major player in the gold industry if it's not already. They are headquartered out of Vancouver, Canada and were founded in 2007, uh, so really not too long ago. Their mining operations are in Mali, Nam uh, Namibia, and Philippines. Um, so their statistics, so their revenue, so this is before um, liabilities, was $1.79 billion. Uh, it, that revenue has had a year-over-year -year growth rate of 52.9%, which is really good. Um, that is not including 2021. Those numbers are not out yet. The gross profit is uh, $1.26 billion. And the net income was $628.06 million, which is a sizable chunk of money considering their uh, revenue was at $1.79 billion. Uh, so a little more statistics for us. The profit margin um, was 35 0.1%, um, uh, which is a great profit margin as far as I'm concerned. The market capital is at $4.76 billion, um, so that's just the company overall. Its cash is $479.68 million, that's how much it has in the bank, and its debt is at $110.02 million, so it has a lot more cash than it does debt, which is um, very safe for this company. It's price to book ratio, which you want to be between one and three, as far as the ideal range, is at 1.86. So it's um, so it's fairly low, meaning it's a bit uh, it's valued fairly, I would say. The price to earnings ratio, um, it's currently undervalued as far as the past 12 months is concerned. It's at 7.69, which you know you want it anywhere from uh, 15 to 25. The forward PE ratio, which is for the next 12 months, what is forecasted, is at 10.17. So still relatively undervalued considering um, considering everything really. Now analysts so far, there's been uh, there's eight. None of them have uh, given the stock a sell rating. Six of them have given them a buy rating, and of those six, uh, a couple of them, I'm not, not sure how many, uh, gave a strong buy rating. Um, so, so far, uh, analysts believe this is a very strong company. Um, the earnings per share is unknown at this current time, uh, but it is likely to outperform, and the report comes out on May 4th of 2021 after hours. At least that's when it's supposed to, as long as it doesn't get delayed. The downsides to the company. Um, the Mali mine, uh, the permit for it has not been renewed by the Mali government. Um, so we're still still awaiting any updates about that, and the earnings date is still unknown. Um, there's no known estimate available that I've been able to find. Um, but like I said, it's out, I, it's likely to outperform, so that's good. Uh, as, far, as far as forecast and dividends, if you hold any equity in the stock in the uh, in the company, so its current price is at four dollars and twenty-two cents. That's as of one thirty-three a.m. on March thirty-first, twenty twenty-one. Uh, the one-year price forecast, uh, the low is at five dollars and seventy-five cents. Its median is at seven dollars and ninety-nine cents. So basically, eight dollars. That's a uh, roughly a ninety percent increase from its current value, and a high estimate of ten dollars and thirty-two cents. Um, the dividend is 2.38% uh, return um, on any equity that is held. So if you hold $100 worth, you're going to get $2.38 um, for every time they pay out that dividend, which is really um, better than you'll get in your average savings account. So with that being said, thank you all for watching. <clears throat> if you enjoyed, leave a like and hit that subscribe button and to keep up with the latest content. Thank you to all the current subscribers. Your support helps this channel grow. And until next time, this is Stocks and Sports, out.